everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Many of you are asking me, um, it's become a very hot topic, so I'm happy to let you know that yes indeed I did replace my pencil, I've gotten back into the inky world of ballpoint pens. Oh shit, this one's out of ink. No! Alright, where's, I got like a cup with some pen, is it moved? It's been moved, well no, I'm just to write it down. As best as I can. We don't even have a seed yet. We might have ran into the loss. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. A five win streak already? That's nice. Oh, Azazel. We have not played as Azazel in a while. Um, it, it is, admittedly, a little bit of an easy mode, but hey, you gotta throw that in now and then. We played the Lost runs as long as they last, so we'll play the Azazel run as long as it lasts as well. QRQE 6L79. A little bit of my. Uh, dyslexia coming through there. I don't actually have dyslexia. I don't mean to make light of people who are legitimately dyslexic. Uh, sometimes I just get my, my letters confused because I read too quickly. I'm not a, I'm not a detail-oriented person uh, for the most part. And as someone who's running, you know, I don't want to call this a business necessarily because it's a labor of love, but, you know, I handle all the the uploading, the description writing, the interfacing with people on Twitter, contacting, you know, PR, actually recording the videos, re editing and rendering whenever that stuff actually happens. Let's see what we've got in our shop here. It's easy for stuff like that to kind of, um, you know, pop up. That's how you end up with misridden seeds, and I do apologize for that. Yeah, that was a very smart decision on my part. Uh, most people don't understand the value of walking yourself into the fire. It's it's a novelty. Um, and most people will, will never understand the novelty of it, but uh, it really, I think, it... it cauterizes your wounds, so you're less likely to get hit in the future. Most people don't know that the Binding of Isaac Rebirth has that level of, uh, of interaction. It really does, yeah, man. Try holding, like, uh, a jar with some hearts in it and walking over to the, uh, the fire and walking into it. It'll actually make the hearts turn into spirit hearts, guaranteed. Also, you can't legally sue me if anything goes wrong there. Guaranteed. Let's go back, because I really do want to get the starter deck. It would be awesome to be able to hold on to the, uh, the, 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 the this card, which basically I'm going to refer to as our boss rush ticket for success. If we could hold on to this and also hold on to another card, that would be great. And in addition to that, if we could get like a single penny, that would be beautiful, but apparently that's looking like it's going to be actually impossible. We don't even have a bomb that we can use. Can I trade? I would gladly trade my... Um, I don't even remember the name of the item, that's how bad it is. I would gladly trade Crack the Sky for a single penny, but I guess we'll just have to be content with the fact that uh, we are going to probably have a pretty good chance to get an arcade on the next floor and probably a pretty good chance to get another item on the next floor from our shop, but unfortunately Starter Deck is gone. That train has sailed, but we do have an arcade here, as you can see, and now we only need like one red heart to make this happen. Are you kidding me? As much as cr Crack the Sky might seem like half decent, I actually think I will prefer... Uh, IV bag. I'm not taking it as a joke. I think IV bag is one of those items that has gotten a lot better. Come on. I think it's gotten a lot better in uh, in Rebirth, mostly because of things like uh, you know Bloody Lust, being able to use it to your advantage for Bloody Lust or something like that, or you know being able to use it to get into uh, boss trap rooms and, and the like. But uh, for now, it's it's a bit of a weird situation. I'll grant you that. It looks like we will pick up a, a spirit heart here for our troubles, which is very nice because I did lose half of a black heart, I think, on my way in here. So I'll take this, I'll take the key. Let's start popping these pills. Bad gas, lemon party, speed down. Bad trip, that is god awful. <laughs> now that we know lemon party's in the equation, though, we can, uh, we can do some stuff with that. Hopefully, if we find it in the future. That was very strange. That is the laggiest kind of transition from room to room I have ever seen in Rebirth. I thought the game was actually crashing, um, but I guess not. I can't imagine there being a much more useless item than Magneto when we already have the ability to fly. I realize that probably makes me sound a little bit ungrateful. That's my intention. Do we know this pill? We don't know this pill. Amnesia, man. All right, well, I'm, maybe I'm glad we didn't pick up Starter Deck. We can get PhD instead because... That is a little ridiculous, the lack of quality we've had there. We have a Tinted Rock, and, you know, it would be awesome to pick up a bomb here. It doesn't look like we have any item that we want to pick up, so let's try this on for size and see if we get anything decent. The Spirit Hearts are, are well worth it, but um, you might be saying, you know, why not, why not buy, like, BOGO Bombs? I don't really think BOGO Bombs is... I don't even think it's worth, like, the 7 cents that it was costing me, so... 
I'm gonna choose to stay away from it. So we're just gonna stay in the middle here, and, and Lemon Party should basically get the job done. This deal with the Devil, if it was good, it would really make me feel a lot better. Like, this run is probably set up very nicely just because we're Azazel, but come on now. We've been getting some shit luck along the way. Fear Shot is fine. Um, we use Lemon Party, so I'm gonna go back for our Fool card, but... You know what? I might, for seven cents, I might buy BOGO Bombs, and nobody's sadder about that than I am, I promise you that. But it's, uh, it's the reality of the situation here. I really thought BOGO Bombs might give us some bombs as well. Sadly, no. So we are, um, we're gonna be unable to get this other Tinted Rock over here, but it's okay. I mean, as the, as floors go, we got a Spirit Heart, and then we picked up, uh, Dark Matter for Fear Shot plus a little extra damage there. Kind of a weak first couple of floors, but I, I can't really complain too much because as a Zazel, you can probably afford to have like a weak entire run and then still come out with a victory on the other side. So really, the the great luck that we had was just in our random here. It's got nothing to do with the actual uh, item payouts or anything like that we've already had. So that is uh, an incredible situation. The fact that we picked up a lot of money there. Bad gas is not good, but I'll try to use it uh, maybe against like this guy right here that way we can take our fool card out of here because we definitely want to have the opportunity to use that for a uh, boss trap room in the future did I leave a penny no all right I didn't even see this I was moving too quickly we're at 23 cents more than enough to buy whatever we want from our shop and there's not gonna be any greed here I sincerely I'm hoping for PhD because our pill rotation has just been straight up terrible thus far come on Thank you. Uh, of course, I'd be happy to take any damage upgrades, and something like Little Haunt is awesome as well. And really, like when it comes to spacebar items, that was a great shot. Uh, when it comes to spacebar items, I'd be happy to pick up some of those as well, because as uh, as nice as IV bag can be in some very you know niche situations, it's not really doing too much for us right off the cut here. We need to get those niche situations first. I'm just gonna use Hagalaz here. Like there are better uses for that. But uh, I just wanted to get it done and hold on to the Fool card. The odds of Hagalaz actually giving us our Black Market are quite low. I recognize, by the way, the Curse of the Maze tripped me up a little bit there. We'll go back down to our Secret Room, see what we got. And uh, if there's one thing that this run is very rich in, it's, you know, perhaps sensibly and literally so, money. We're, we're doing very well from a, a financial standpoint. Uh, especially considering we haven't had Pageant Boy. Normally, you know, if you're getting to 36 cents, you're like abusing a, a blood bank or you've got Pageant Boy or something like that going on for you, but as of right now, we're doing fine. You know, I feel like uh, I feel like a little bit of a jerk for disrespecting BOGO bombs because we're in a situation now where we've picked up like five or six bombs and it cost us seven cents. So I think I'm, I'm guilty of that Cardinal Isaac sin of being like, well, BOGO bombs isn't good because there's stuff that's better. I see that kind of theory crafting in the community all the time. It's not like it burns me up or anything like that. You know, I'm guilty of it too. But unless you have a choice, so good. Unless you have the ability to like reroll your, your items, um, you, you don't have a choice. So you might as well just look at it as like a, a fiscal thing instead, you know? Why would I, um, why would I, and if it was a, a bundle of seven bombs, or even like, that might give us like 30 bombs over the course of a run. If it was a bundle of 30 bombs, would I pay, uh, seven cents for it? Of course I would have, but, you know, because it was branded as BOGO bombs, I'm like, oh, it's a shit item. That, I don't even want to talk about how I did on that fight. I'm just mostly happy Magic Mushroom worked out for us there. Very poor play on this run so far. You know what? I got a hunch. And that tonight's gonna be a good night. Alright, that was... That was nothing right there. Guess we might as well use this once. If we can get like counterfeit penny or bloody penny, you know the rest. Flat penny, burnt penny, those would be amazing for us. The only penny we don't really want is swallow penny. Wow! Thank you, IV bag. That was six cents on a random uh, IV bag play there. I'm very happy with that. Magic mushroom pickup, obviously. Very, very nice for us. And, I mean, the run is still one. I'm a little embarrassed with my ineptitude thus far, but. Hopefully we can pull ourselves out of that. And if if we can't pull ourselves out of it, hopefully we, we don't really ever have to, you know? Hopefully we're just doing well enough that it doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things. An Azazel loss would really go a long way towards eroding my confidence, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, this is, uh, it's a room I like. I got nothing against this room. Able to pick up some extra cash here, and we didn't really pay anything in order to make it happen, so life's good there. 30 cents, again. 
for our shop. We do have a little bit of a range upgrade, I guess, thanks to uh, Magic Mushroom. And I think unlike uh, Mini Mush, the range upgrade is actually applied as a range upgrade, which means our shots are, uh, are longer as opposed to the way that Mini Mush works, which just makes our shot height higher, which actually makes it harder for us to attack enemies. As a Zazel, Mini Mush can be like a real pain in the ass. There's another nickel for us. IV bag doing good work, as IV bag should. I would like to point out, you know, what is this, like, eight runs out of the last, like, nine that have Magic Mushroom? I'm not gonna complain, man. The more Magic Mushroom shows up, the, the more I get excited. You know, I'm gonna be here for it whenever it needs me. You just call out my name. <laughs> Voice is feeling a little shot today. That's why I can't sing up to my usual standard of a D minus. Straight up F territory today. Straight up F territory, also my, my favorite Limp Biscuits song. Limp Biscuits. With an X and then a Z after it on the end, just to show how hardcore they are. So Smart Fly is pretty excellent for us. Wheel of Fortune, I'll just explode. It's a very lazy play, but at least it's gonna give us some decent amount of cash here. Four cents, basically. It cost us a bomb, though, but I don't know. That, that might be worth it. It might not be worth it, but I'll tell you what it's not worth is our freaking time dissecting like the dollar value of a bomb when we have a lot of money and a lot of bombs. That's, you know, life's good. They say mind your pennies and the pounds take care of themselves, but that's, it's a ridiculous phrase. Whoever said that was not a financial planner. You should really mind your pounds and, you know, ideally mind your pennies as well, but if you can only mind one, probably mind your pounds, you know? Not, not in the um, imperial weight sense, but rather the uh, imperial currency sense. My, I've, I've gone on this rant before, but this is, I had a friend that used to say it. You know, mind the pennies, the pounds take care of themselves. It's basically saying, like, you know, don't spend money willy-nilly on dumb shit on a daily basis and you'll get rich. Well, what if you don't, you never buy a coffee at a coffee shop, but you, you know, consistently invest in shitty stocks? You told me if I minded the pennies, the pounds would take care of themselves, Janice! Where's the pounds, Janice? I'm broke! Anyway, that's just a hypothetical situation. Uh, we are going to take Krampus's head. We find ourselves in the rare, unique situation in which we can take Krampus's head. Relatively guilt-free. Um, we don't have anything better than it right now, so why not? We are going to finish our exploratory phase of this floor, and that's, you know, you might have seen me check out our map a little bit, and that was not to check out the map, but rather to check out the timer, because we're sitting uh, pretty nicely right now, maybe a full floor ahead of where I need to be if I'm going to make Boss Rush happen. And as Azazel, you, you can't make me feel bad about Boss Rush. I'm going to try to make Boss Rush happen whenever I can, as Azazel. So, we'll come down here. By the way, you should never take my advice when it comes to finances, or you should probably never take my advice on anything except, and maybe including playing The Binding of Isaac, but... Uh, either way, speak to a, a qualified professional or something. Or something. We might as well, uh, is my thinking, buy a fanny pack and uh, Nun's Habit there. I mean, I don't think Nun's Habit, Krampus's head is a particularly huge combo due to the fact... Really? Where the heck is our... Oh, I know where our secret room's gonna be then. Um, due to the fact that uh, Krampus's head is a huge charge up time. Man, remember when Nun's Habit was three charges, like it would give you half of your, your charges on an item instead of merely uh, one out of six. Those were the days, man. Taking Nun's Habit D6, every time you played the Blood Bag, you'd get half of a reroll. That's crazy, man! And you could have HP off the screen! I'm not surprised. You know, they, they did a pretty effective job of actually nerfing that combo, even though both of the items are still pretty good in their own right, D6 especially. But man, I was getting that like every third run. That was so good. Those were the days. Anyway, depths one. Reminiscing memories from the corners of my mind. 30 FPS memories of the way we were. Should have gotten the scum we were. That would have been a better joke. I have to redo this video. So we're at 66 pennies. More than enough to accomplish anything we could basically want to do there. Uh, 17 bombs, which is a nice healthy amount. Pretty good payout here. And 11 keys, also very good. Two of hearts, relatively bad. Perthrow, pretty sweet though. Lover's pretty bad. So I'm hoping for a deal with the devil here where we can use our Perthrow rune effectively. And, you know, if, if uh, the case presents itself, I wouldn't mind rerolling Krampus's head here, to be honest with you. But let's see. Oh, well, we'll take this. 
Unfortunately, I, I would really, really like to take our Fool card out of this. So I want to use our Perthrow rune on this floor. Because I, I need the Fool card for the next floor. I don't need it, but I would like the Fool card for the next floor, you know? Fanny Pack's gonna give us some consumables in the process here. I think that's pretty sweet, you know? Um, we picked up a luck upgrade. On runs that are looking one, and any run with Azazel's looking pretty one. Um, but on runs that are one, luck upgrades are like the best upgrade that you could possibly get because they give you more, uh, I think they give you more chests on the chest anyway. Chest on the chest, the bang, the bang, dicky. I always forget the middle at the end, you up jump the boogie. All right, what are you doing here, Haunty? I'm surprised that you lived that long, to be honest with you. I'm going to be throwing down pretty much as many bombs as I can muster here because uh, it doesn't take a lot for us to get our money's worth, you know? One two of clubs, for example, would pay for like 13 bombs right now. And everything else that we would get over the course of those 13 bombs would just be gravy, so I'm not going to be too mad about that. Now, we want to be out of this floor by 16 and a half minutes, so we have tons of time with which to explore. I am uh, I'm definitely going to buy a hive mind. And I think I'm going to buy the coin purse. We already know what the pills are, so, you know, for the most part, we, uh, we're we okay with that. Maybe I should have re-rolled them if we're going to use our Perthrow for something. Amnesia. Tears up. Speed down. So I'm not going to sweat the amnesia pills too much. Uh, and I'm going to donate as much money as the game will legally allow us to do. I might save five cents for one more Spirit Heart just to hedge our bets. But, you know, we got to constantly keep this bank pumped up. If anything, this is a pretty good simulation of what it's like to be a real person with a bank account. You know, your bank account goes up, your bank account goes down, goes up when you're being, uh, what's the speed down, right? It goes up when you're, you're being diligent about it, goes down when you're being a little bit, uh, you know, less concerned about your spend thriftness, and then, uh, the situation we find ourselves in here where we're kind of hovering around the same amount. We gotta set some savings goals, man. Got about two minutes, I would say, if I wanna get the maximum kind of, uh, oh. If I want to get the maximum uh, chance of getting out of this and getting to boss rush, we could have perthrowed that, but I don't think uh, I don't think I really am interested in the idea of perthrowing a uh, an HP upgrade that I can trade on a deal with the devil instead. I don't know when we're going to use this perthrow rune. It feels like a waste to just leave it, but at the same time, a free payout of an item from boss rush is better than a reroll and then having to fight the room. So I guess what I'm kind of hoping for is almost, this sounds shitty, but like a dry baby payout and then reroll. It sounds shitty because dry baby is a good item. That's a dumb play, which makes me think it's probably not the smart play. <laughs> but I could be wrong. Maybe we'll get like a mini boss fight against Super Envy. That would be guilt free. Oh, we still have our item room. Am I an idiot? I might be an idiot now that I think about it. Pyro's too good to pass up though. It's a really nice uh, saving item in case we find ourselves in a truly terrible position. Now, what about this room? Maybe we got something... Well, it doesn't appear so. I mean, it feels weird to complain about having a spare reroll we can't do anything with, but... I'm committed to the rerolls, man. I hate abandoning them. Alright, so take you. Break you. There's a case to be made for taking the bad trip pill with us as well, but... I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I got enough on my plate in terms of making mistakes right now. Very smart play on my part there. You gotta bleed off some health so the game doesn't get, uh, you know, too aggressive towards you. Totally. So our last chance to really use this Perthrow rune effectively is gonna be on a secret room. And we don't get a chance to do it, so... Again, it feels pretty fucked up to just take a, um, a reroll. Or leave a reroll, I should say, and, and take the Fool. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Perthrow rune down to the next floor. And I'm going to hope that we're going to be able to get a teleport card from a different source. And it's a little bit of a gamble, but I think it can work out for us. I, I don't think it's rolling the dice that hard, honestly. Um, we're about 45 seconds ahead of where I normally would consider myself to have to be. So I'm not worried about time. And in fact, it should get, like, we should be going faster and faster as time goes on. Eh, maybe. Maybe not relative to the average run. Mom's eye, there's no reason really not to take, but we're just going to avoid it uh, temporarily. Let's see what we got in here. Not a full reroll. Is this teleportation? Death card. Speed down. All right, we're going to stick with Perthrow for now, even though death is, of course, um, potent in this situation. I can't hit him properly here. Let's check out this room. Man. 
I'm not concerned about our, our ability to get to the boss rush room. I'm just surprised we can't seem to get, like, legitimate item payouts here. Thank you, little haunt. This should be over now. I'm kind of tempted to just play um, the demon judgment with our spirit hearts, but it's, it's a bit foolhardy. But we just got one back in return. We got a justice card out of that, and that allows us to go back hard on this one. Getting a lot of Krampus' head charges quickly as a result of this. What do you got for me here? The sun. Come on, dog. Don't do me dirty like this. Okay, I'm gonna pop the sun card just to see where our secret room is and give us full health again. Amnesia, not that interested. Come on. Come on, oh, it's another amnesia pill. You gotta make some shortcuts or take some shortcuts if you're gonna be trying to get the boss rush. This is perfect, because missing page two kinda sucks. We'll reroll that into the D4. Ah, oh, fuck, what have I done? Um, <laughs> be careful what you wish for, I guess. I don't know what this does as Azazel. We stay as Azazel, but we get different shit, right? Like, now I'm super... S okay. This might be how I keep this run. Because this is... Oh, we have Stompy. Okay, this might be how I keep this run, because this is cool as fuck. This is awesome. Uh, with Stompy, we also have the means with which to destroy all these, and hopefully have a really good chance to get... Um, come on, dog. What are you doing to me? Uh, have a really good chance to get a teleportation card, but additionally, any enemy that walks into our sphere of influence is going to become vassalized by the shit that I'm shooting out here. I realize that there's nine free bombs back there, or six free bombs. We're gonna, we're gonna take our opportunity to grab those. Attack fly is fine. Maybe not quite the uh, incredible payout that I was hoping for, but that's okay. I was kind of hoping for a space bar item to be straight up with you, because. Uh, I want to get rid of the D4. I think the the D4 has done some amazing stuff for us. By the way, if you're wondering what the heck we have, uh, <laughs> that's a great question. I think we have a tiny planet, which is giving us the circular stuff. Might as well take both of these, I guess. Um, in addition to tiny planet, I believe that we have 2020, which is maybe causing the double shot, although I don't understand why half of it would be coming from behind. But I also don't feel like Mom's Eye would give us 100% shots from behind. Unless we had like a 100% luck stat or something. But I'm not I'm not fully sure about that. I'm, I'm going to leave that key behind because I'm an idiot. But then I'm going to go fight Mom here. And we'll, we'll go into boss rush. And I would just love to see what kind of synergies are in there. And if, if there's terrible items, then we don't need to go for them. I'm not going to use the D4 anymore. We've already turned... We've already had a successful D4 setup here. I'm not going to fuck with it. What I want is like a full brimstone. Uh... Don't walk over to the items. I can choose my own items, asshole. We'll totally take a Whore of Babylon, and we'll totally take Death's Touch. Pretty enormous damage upgrades there. Even a, a speed increase as well. I think we go um, I think we go Odd Mushroom, honestly, just because it is a damage upgrade. Uh, and it's a relatively minor damage upgrade, but a damage upgrade nonetheless. And maybe we can go back and take Headless Baby. Maybe they'll let us do that if the Deal with the Devil is still alive. Plus, we'll get one more item for finishing this up. We must have Celtic Cross or Virgo. I'm not totally sure yet. That was a good pill, but that doesn't mean that it's Virgo. It could have been a good pill, and I just forgot. So, mostly our goal here is just to not take very much damage. <laughs> Sometimes easier said than done. But yeah, we're going to we're gonna focus on getting out of this with as much HP as possible. And we really should not be easily losing here. We've got some other good stuff that I didn't really talk about. But, like, the Rotten Baby... Uh, Addition to this run is awesome. Little Steven is not very meaningful, but it, it's nice to have it, I suppose. Sacrificial Dagger is amazing, especially if we do reliably get permanent Polaroid invincibility. What's going on? There you are. I really... Uh, I'm, I'm trying not to be as ballsy as I just was right there, but... I'm recognizing, I think, that the more beams, as you might expect, the more beams we hit an enemy with, it seems like the faster they die, so... You know, it, it, it seems like it's a smart decision if I can actually get it to work out reliably. It's a cool run. We got like a little, you know, a, a, a knot going on here. I should really avoid walking backwards. There is a huge potential of accidentally walking on a bomb rock. This should do it. Mm, not quite. We have leech as well. We don't have any red hearts uh, to benefit from the HP steal. But the, the damage uh, over time of leech is not anything to sneeze at either. Oh, pin, right. Okay. 
I can't believe Pin didn't die in one hit, but I guess he wasn't alive that long. All right, so we should have Celtic Cross effect again. I'm gonna fire as much as I can, but in the meantime, if we can get through a couple waves with this invincibility, oh, we can do some great stuff, yeah. That was awesome. So our speed is really shitty right now, but this is the sec, oh, actually, this is the last wave. It's been a while. This is the last wave before we have like real um, horsemen to deal with, which is totally fine. So we'll kill you easily. And you're basically dead, so I'm gonna focus on death instead. Just the horse, I think. All right. Try to go hard on Headless Horseman here. We got it completely erased before it was actually able to do anything. I wanted to do that so I could avoid bombs or whatever. Uh, this is great. I think the Shears is a totally cool item. No deal with the Devil, so we can't pick up Headless Baby, but uh, whatever. That's fine. Down to the next floor. I mean, this, this again, should be a one run. I'm still hoping for uh, Big Daddy Brimstone so that we can actually, you know, shoot across the, the entire map. But as is, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Regardless, not too worried about becoming Guppy or anything like that. The uh, the Shears pickup is actually really good. We don't need it. We're already, you know, set up pretty nicely. But uh, Shears is a great item, and it's still underrated. I see some people claiming that Shears is like, oh, it's a C-tier item. Not that they're using those words specifically. Shouldn't have picked that hard up, but... Um, Shears is like straight up an A-tier item. It wrecks face. It would be better, I mean, it, obviously, it would be worse for game balance, but it would be better for the item if it had a lower charge time. But, uh, as is, it's amazing. Nonetheless, you just gotta, you know, choose wisely when you're supposed to use it. And we'll, uh, we'll use it predominantly on bosses or rooms that are more difficult than we expect our boss to be. Which is probably not gonna happen on this floor. Alright, we must be Lord of the Flies. I, uh, I took Ace of Spades. I like Ace of Spades a lot. I couldn't tell you what it does. <laughs> I think it gives you more, uh, oh, we got uh, Mom's Purse. I totally forgot about it as well. I think it gives you more playing cards and, like, rare cards, so things like the Joker are more likely to show up, but, um, always, always happy to pick it up. Now, Isaac's Fork, not very useful for us. Lemon Party is, is pretty good. I'm not gonna disparage it. Luck Up is pretty good. Maybe we do have Virgo. I'm not sure. Took a little more damage than I'm happy with on this floor. We do have a, a times one, though. It'll be interesting to see what that... I barely worked. It'll be interesting to see what that actually is. Could be due to the shadow. Could be Ankh. Could be one up. Yeah, I mean, totally, we're going to take this stuff. This is ridiculous. Now we've got a ton of HP, and pretty much nothing's going to stop us now. We've gotten Whore of Babylon and uh, Abaddon. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on on this floor. So our damage gets, like, another... Uh, 1.5 up, not times 1.5. I think just it's confusing. Some of them are times 1.5. Some of them are just a uh, plus 1.5. And then you got stuff like uh, magic mushroom, which is empress. Ah, we'll take that instead of lemon party, I guess. Um, which is plus 0 0.3 and then times 1.5. It's getting a little ridiculous at this point. I'm gonna come over here because kind of feel like why wouldn't we? You know, there's lots of interesting stuff. I really thought we'd kill those enemies more quickly than we did. That's okay. Teleport? Strength. I don't I don't see how the strength card helps us out in this unique situation. I don't think Shears is gonna help us out too much here either, but I, I figured it was worth a shot. Where even is our Shears individual? Oh, there it is. It's not doing anything at all. You, you know, you're supposed to get in here and do something to the enemy. There we go. See, that's it's nuking the HP down so quickly. We don't even have to do anything. We might be able to do something creative with Broken Remote, but I don't really care. Like, I don't think it's that good. We do have a uh, Bum Friend, so I should probably stop stealing the HP, but I'm probably not going to, so let's be reasonable. Or not HP, but stealing the uh, the money. Thanks for the bomb. Thanks for the goat head, as usual, showing up just like a little bit too late to be useful at all. But I appreciate it nonetheless, for some reason. Oh, Jera. Perthrow. Perthrow's still good, though. We can take that down to the chest and get a lot of value out of it. And I am not going to take that HP. Alright, so amazingly, perhaps against all odds, we seem to just be getting, you know, orders of magnitude stronger as time goes on. I'm happy to hear it. I'm happy to be a part of it. Quickly check around for maybe... Oh, what's this one? On Zeus. I'm not even going to worry about the secret room, honestly. I was hoping it was a Yara rune, but... Uh, I'm not going to complain about it, you know? If we, it's unlikely to happen on this floor, on the last room, but 
If we can manage to uh, get some amazing items on the chest with the help of this Perthra rune, life is good as far as I'm concerned. Got lucky to sneak in there without taking damage, and we will uh, immediately go up to the cathedral. With Mom's eye, or sorry, Kane's eye, there might be a chance for us to see where we're actually going here, and that is always a positive in my book. Nice. There is a mini boss. We may or may not cross paths with them. Looks like we won't. And we got the Empress card again. If I didn't want you before, I don't want you now. All right, it's a hard pill to swallow. You know, you're gonna have to. You know, maybe break it in half or something. Get some, get some chewables. I mean, there's amazing advances made in the pharmaceutical industry on a daily basis. Maybe, maybe even consult a therapist about it. I don't know. Maybe it's a, it's a problem with, uh, with you. You know, you can, you can work on it. There's no shame in it. I might as well try to bomb our way out of here, even though I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Yeah, it's okay. Though, oh, we actually got a spear at our back. I think that's probably from Bum Friends, so I'm happy about that. Maybe a Joker card here. Come on, come on. Two of Hearts, the most useless I think, uh, outside of like Suicide King Card Against Humanity rules card. Joker card. <laughs> come on. Do you guys know Chub dislikes smoke? Very interesting tidbit. I'm not sure if you've uh, seen it yet. I know, it's hard to believe. Let's head on in here and pop this bad boy and... We can pretty much just sit back and let the Shears body do the work, but... I'm gonna do my best to take out uh, Isaac as quickly as possible. I'm pretty sure that he won't have a chance to attack once I get out of this invincibility. Yeah, because it's he's not gonna be alive then. So this is a one run, but I gotta admit it was a useful uh, and an interesting Azazel run. You know, get me in a good mindset. There's our boss room, Dead Sea Scrolls, Book of Revelations, My Best Friend, Box of Spiders. Well, a selection of items that uh, are at least useful before we reroll them, potentially. What did that give me? Game Kid. All right. Uh, we're going to per-throw them. We want to keep the shears. We got Dark Bum. Strange Attractor. I don't even know how this shit works. Like, strange attractor with our existing bullets? I have no idea. I'm hoping we get a lot of chests because of our luck stat, though. I'm not sure. Are we sucking enemies in here? Maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> I get Dark Bum? I don't even care if it picks up the HP. We don't need it, man. Like, our, our HP is going to be absolutely okay moving along here. But an interesting run, you know? Rarely do you get a D4 that works out that quickly for you, so I'm not going to uh, look a gift horse in the mouth on this one. We got the... We... Traded some good stuff away for our D4. Our D4 made our run better and then left. That's like the ideal situation in which to find a D4, I think. I don't know how we got hit right off the bat there, but we did. We're going to try to kill Sloth last, even at the, the cost of getting hurt ourselves, in order to maybe get like a, an interesting thing. Onsus is not that interesting, but at least allows us to see our secret room. Key beggar? No. Oh, right, I can just walk into these. You can just walk over. Yeah. We must have Virgo. I mean, we got the Celtic Cross effect as well. I thought maybe we just had Celtic Cross and good luck. But apparently not. All right. Let's do this, Blue Baby. This shit is over. I could just let uh, Shears and Sacrificial Dagger carry me home here. But I'm not gonna. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We'll be back probably with an Eden run next. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.